I'm back again at the same place, dear friend time, my dear friends. I hope you are doing all right around the world. If you are new, subscribe to IFC, hit that notification bell. You don't have to miss all the dreams right here at Isaac's Football Club, where we discuss load and load of things. And God bless everybody who's watching. Let me start with this. Sanchez saved a penalty. I did not even see that. I got a little bit distracted when I was watching the game. I went to the kitchen, get some water to drink because that game was just on fire. We could not score. We could not put the ball in the net in a long time. I was bowling, I got to say. But Sanchez, Sanchez was fantastic. Sanchez saved Chelsea today. Sanchez did a great, great work today. I'm surprised. I'm very surprised. Um, sometimes, yeah, you can do that. Sometimes it can look awful. Sometimes, you know, it's Sanchez. But today, this game, he saved Chelsea. Without Sanchez today, that game, Bournemouth should have scored two or three goals. And this game could have ended 3-1. But Sanchez, fantastic in that goal. And Bournemouth kept eating the... Um, uh, the, uh, the post over time they, when they kick the ball hitting the post. I think they eat the post twice I'm looking at the iris here twice. They eat the post look unlucky. This is what happened when I saw Bournemouth doing that I was like they're not gonna score They are not gonna score well, look Experience we know that right we've been watching the game for a long time So if a team cannot score and they're eating the post if you see a team eat the post twice in a game and it's very intense, critical game, and no shenanigans, no mistake. If the other team hit the post twice or three times, which means they're not going to win. They're not going to score. It's going to take a miracle for them to score. And this is what happened today. But, ah, Sanchez. We need to talk about Sanchez. Not Sanchez. I did talk about Sanchez. Sorry. We need to talk about Sancho. Same name, Sanchez, Sancho. Similar, right? So you can get confused. So Sancho, Man United player, remember, he's still on loan. He's still a Man United player. We need to talk about that. I think Chelsea next uh, transfer window, they're going to do anything in their power to sign uh, Sanchez. Uh, yeah, Sancho, not Sanchez, of course. Sancho from Man United. They need to sign Sancho. Did you see how Sancho is handling himself at the ball? Did you see? You know, the, 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 uh, the amount of uh, time he had, he was making the time himself, not rushing, not feel panic like somebody's chasing you. Even if somebody's chasing him, he's, he's at the ball and he's making his own time and he's looking at the Chelsea player where they are and he's like, come on guys, where are you? There was a time he got the ball, you know, he just stood at the ball and looking at the Chelsea players, where are these guys? Modric cannot do that. Modric cannot come that close, you know, and Modric, I don't think he's going to get into the Chelsea team now. After this performance of Sancho did this, and I know so many Man United uh, supporters are like, ah, ha, ha, he's not going to go to Chelsea, forget it. I won't say that. I won't say that. We'll see him in the, in the transfer window. If he wants to, to stay at Chelsea, that's his decision. That's what happens. So you cannot decide for him. If he decided to go, if he decided to stay at Man United, it's up to him to stay because the amount of uh, dribble, the amount of uh, game, you know, changer and all this sweetness on a, on the footwork of Sancho, it was just incredible to watch today. He changed the game, and I was screaming. I was like, "Give the ball to Sancho! He will do something! Please give the ball to Sancho!" I was screaming, and then that is exactly what happened. You see, give the ball to Sancho. Boom! Christopher Nkunku put it in the net. Now talking about Christopher Nkunku and Nico Jackson. Nico, Nico Jackson. I've seen so many people. This is what this is what happened. Uh, Chelsea supporters and every supporters when a player make a mistake in our game and this been brilliant this two pass game Nicola Jackson scored two goals right and get involved into the game so it's not rubbish yes he's developing as a striker but it's not that rubbish you know we see Christopher Nkunku comes in and score a goal um, Nico needed to do that needed to score that goal but substitute came in 
and Gungo scored that goal. Beautiful, right? But it doesn't mean, you know, get him out of here. You know, just start start do, start putting Christopher and Kunku up top there. It doesn't mean that way. Try him again. And again, if he doesn't do it, then start playing Christopher and Kunku. I don't see Christopher Nkunku starting now. I think it's, it's going to be a super substitution just like we, we saw today. I think Nkunku is very good on that uh, stuff. And it's not the first time we saw Christopher Nkunku come in and change the game. It's not the first time. Even in, in Portotino era, he did that. He came in and changed the game. Maybe it's good that way. So you got to look into all this stuff. Some players are not good to start the game. <laughs> For me, Nico Jackson is still a good player. He's still a good player. I'm not gonna insult him. You know, let's get together here and let's do uh, let's do something up here. It's gonna be a long, long, long season. I don't think this is it. It's changed. This is a very, very lucky win. I got to say, very lucky win. And without Sancho and Christopher Nkunku, that game was dead. That game was dead because we could not put the ball in the net. We could not do anything today. It was catastrophic, left, right, and sent until that goal. So this is this this is the type of games you win. You see, this is the type of game you win. You don't draw point in this type of game. You just don't. I don't care what anybody said. I don't care what type of weather is. I don't care if the sun is coming out or the sun is going down or it's it's more strained here, you can't breathe properly. Or oh, like other people I saw, other supporters at Twitter, they're like, I hate going to Bournemouth. That stadium is horrible to play in. I don't care. It's Bournemouth. They are not a superior team. And I'm sorry, I know some Bournemouth fans, I think one or two are watching. Just I'm, I'm just being honest. They're not superior in the Premier League. They're not the team that go challenge and win the Premier League. They're not like that, right? So they're not that superior. Chelsea is superior. We got a lot of trophies. We, we, we have won it all. So for Chelsea, this game today, it's, it's a must win. And it's a must win and we could have scored more goals. Look at the players we have. We have Pedro Neto, those, those, those are stars, Pedro Neto, right? We got Christopher Nkunku, we got Pama, I'm going to come to Pama. Uh, we got uh, Madweke, like, these are stars, football stars, man. They are good players, so there was no need for Chelsea not to win this game. I am, I'm just happy they won, they score a goal, and that is fantastic, you know? Looking forward to the next game, I don't know what the next game is. the champion... I, I wish we were in the Champions League. Let me see the next game. I think it's the Conference League, if I'm not wrong. Right? No, it's West Ham. On Saturday, 7.30. <laughs> and we're going to London Stadium. And now, this is where I will say myself, I have bad experience at West Ham. You know, London Stadium. Chelsea, go there. It's just... West Ham just... I don't know. West Ham, they just resurrected from nowhere that's what they do against Chelsea you know they can even win 3-1 or 3-0 they can even do that because they're just like that so West Ham Chelsea this is gonna be very difficult game and it's in early in the morning my time in Canada it's gonna be 7 30 in the morning so I gotta wake up 7 30 and do and watch that game anyway that would be fantastic Saturday right I'm just checking the time yeah, Saturday, 7, uh, 7.30 next week. Yeah, so yesterday there was no much preview. I was busy. I was uh, traveling and uh, I'm so busy this week. This is why you're, you're not seeing video after video. I'm just very busy. Can't, I can't, I don't have time for to do other video. But when I have time like this, today is what? Today is Saturday, so I'm fine today. I'm off. Nothing is happening, you know, much. But yeah, it's a time to do a video. So now, Chelsea win, right? We got seven points up top. Uh, we are number seven. So we continue like this. We continue. It's only... F Man City got 12 points because they haven't lost. Man City is Man City. Let me speak about Man City a little bit first. Do you think they're going to lose a game this season? Man City, I don't think they will lose a game. I think they will draw a game. But I don't think... You never know, right? But the way Man City are playing, 
that team i don't know what they have i don't know maybe they use juju or maybe the coach is using juju because there's no way season after season the team cannot go down guys think about it think about it think about it Barcelona, when Pep Guardiola was at Barcelona, remember Barcelona was not, was not going down. Barcelona was resurrected every season. Going to win the Champions League back to back because there was Rio and Messi. That's why Barcelona, they were winning Champions League back to back, right? But at Man City, Pep Guardiola doesn't have that kind of player, so it's very difficult for him to win the Champions League. But it's not normal. Maybe it's just me who's, you know, thinking too much, but it's not normal. Season after season, they, 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 they can't get injured. Like if you look at Man City, they don't have injury much. They don't suffer injuries. Yes, they got great doctors, right? You can say that, but still, come on. You, you, you can have great doctors. You can have some injury. They don't have that. And the team is season after season. They're just winning, winning. They got 12 points up there. And I'm scared to say they're going to win the Premier League again. They will win without a question, without a full stop, without a, you know, something you're going to put up there if you want to put. I think Man City this season, they got this Premier League title again. And it's foolish. It's just foolish. You know, it's not fair. You know? And I'm not, I'm not you know, bragging. It's not fair. A team winning back to backs, they, they have destroyed the league. You know? Um, 115 charges are coming up this Monday. They're going to be in court. It's going to be very interesting to hear what's going to happen in uh, 115 charges. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Everybody's waiting for that. It's too much, you know, too many, not too much. Yeah, you can say too much, but too many charges. 115, 115. At least they're going to be five or ten guilty. And then I think there's going to be some points taken away. I don't think Man City going to get kicked out of the league. I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, Premier League will lose too much. Man City right now, they are at a center. It, uh, at, when, uh, what, what language can I say? They are at the table center, right? That's, that's right, yeah. They are at the center <laughs> of a league. So they cannot, uh, Premier League cannot afford Man City to drop to the championship or to kick them out of the Premier League. That, that's not going to happen because I've seen so many people talking about that. Oh, they're going to get kicked out of the league. Oh, blah, 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 blah. No, I don't think that's going to happen. I just think um, points are going to take in away. They're going to be some punishment here and there. Maybe they may take 15 points from them, you know, and that give away to uh, Arsenal to win the league. That can happen. And they can say, oh, it's just because Man City, uh, they took 15 points away. That's why um, they lost the Premier League this uh, season. But again, as a Chelsea fan, I will not want Arsenal to win the Premier League. I will only want Man City to win the Premier League. But again, it's not fair. So I don't know what to do. So I'm just watching and be quiet. That's what I'm going to do this season. I'm not going to talk much about uh, shenanigans about the Chelsea team, but I'm going to talk shenanigans about the owner because we know what's going on at the, the owner level. You know, they're fighting Todd Bory, fighting with Barry Ferrosini, who wants to take over the club, blah, 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 and all these shenanigans that is happening. But today we enjoy the game. We saw what Christopher Nkunku can bring. We saw what the team can bring. We saw what Sancho can bring. It's fantastic to see, and I'm so happy to see Sancho Praying that way, and I hope we buy Sancho next season. Let me know down in the comment what do you think about Jaden Sancho and Enzo Marasca today? The team going forward, very, very, very good team, but defenders, my goodness, this I see that's this is the player I was thinking about. This I see is terrible, my goodness. I was screaming for change, I was like, come on, do something. Why are we? Tossing is on the bench. Get, get get him in, and then that's exactly what happened. This this I see was very bad. He was just bringing disaster all over the pitch. You know, it's crazy after crazy. But the story of the day it's gonna be Jaden Sancho. Headline. It's gonna be very very good to watch. And yeah, let me know down. What do you think about the game? I'm fine, you know, I celebrated the goal, I did celebrate that goal, not crazy, just to do, yeah, 
that's exactly what I that, that's exactly what we want. Like I said, we need to win games like this, like Bournemouth teams, Crystal Palace teams, you know, teams like that. You need to win. There's no excuse. You need to win. And thank God they scored that goal. But I will see you soon. I'm just remembering something. Maybe I forgot something to say because there was something in my mind to say something. Right? Nothing, right? Hmm? Yeah, nothing. Okay. This is what happened with me. I remember when I say, okay, guys, and then I started start editing this video, and then I remember, oh my goodness, I could have said that. And right now, nothing. I, I remember something. Uh, ben Chewa is back in the team. Good news, right? He's back in the team. Um, ben Chewa was not selected in the Chelsea team, in the first team, and Nelson Marasco was clear to him, you're not gonna, you're gonna, you're not gonna have a minute, and you're not gonna be in the first team. But he's back in the team. What a surprise! And this is just a decision by the Chelsea board because they did not want Ben Chewa. Already they have uh, taken off Lime starting on the wages bill. They are paying half wages, uh, half money on the Lime study. They are not paying 350 together. Arsenal is paying and they are paying half. So they wanted Ben Chewa to go completely because Ben Chewa is getting about uh, 250, 250 a week. Something like that if I'm not wrong. Collect me in the comment. That's why Chelsea wanted to get rid of him. But it did not happen. He's staying at Chelsea, so there's nothing they can do about it. And we have so many games this season, so why getting rid of a guy like that? Why? Anyway, I forgot another thing. Oh, I, I remember, not I forgot, I remember another thing. Yeah, thank God. <laughs> Palmer, Palmer was quiet today. Didn't have a bad game, just quiet, you know. And I think it's because his position has changed. He's playing, he's playing more in 10 row, and that... He's not used to that, so that's his, that's the reason why. It's, it was quiet today, I have to say. It was not awful. So let's see what well, next game what's gonna happen. Opry, he gives us a goal. No player is gonna score every goal, every goal, every day. No one is gonna do that. You know, there are gonna be some time you struggle, sometimes you do some stuff good. That's what it is. It's life. So yeah, I will see you soon. Have a lovely day, and God bless.